it is no secret that it has been so incredibly cold all over the country for the past week or two. And so today I wanted to talk a little bit about what I do to care for my chickens in extremely cold weather. So here are five tips for winter care for your chickens. Okay, so tip number one is when you're going out to care for your birds, layer up. Like, it's better to be bundled than be miserable. I am known as the queen of layers. I think everybody looks at me a little bit funny when they see me all dressed up for the first time, but they're not laughing anymore once they realize they are cold and I am toasty. And by layering, I mean I crazy layer. I have thick leggings, thick sweatpants, two pairs of wool socks, a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, Carhartt insulated coveralls, a Carhartt coat, a scarf, a face mask, and then a big fluffy hat on top of it. So I go all out. But this get up keeps me very warm even in extremely cold temperatures. So it was in the negative 20s with wind chills in the negative 30s, and I was still fairly warm during chores. So it's better to look like a marshmallow, your chickens don't care. But I'm not gonna wear that fancy setup for you today because you wouldn't be able to hear me with that big fancy face mask. All right, let's head down to the coop. It's a beautiful snowy day. It's a little warmer than it has been. I think it's negative four. So we're coming out of our cold snap, but now it's snowing, which is just delightful. All right, so the first thing I wanna talk about here in the coop is heated water. So it's really important for your chickens to have access to water all the time, not ice. And so I have used pretty much every heated water there is on the planet, at least it feels that way to me. A very, very good option, um, it's been very consistent for me, is just a heated dog dish. Um, this one's sort of dirty, I'm actually not using it right now. These are just extremely, extremely foolproof. They're also very affordable. The only con is really the water does tend to get dirty because it's open and you have to fill and clean it every day, um, especially for my size flock of 19 hens. This year I tried a new heated water from Premier One. It's a heated nipple water and I really, really like it. Um, it's been performed very consistently for me this year. The only downfall is that when we did get our extreme cold snap, now I'm talking negative 20 degrees here, I did have to bring it into the coop because the nipples did freeze up if they were out in the wind. But overall, it's performed very well, and once bringing it in, I've had no issues with it. No matter what heated water you use, you just want to make sure that you're checking it at least every day, ideally twice a day, because things can and do go wrong, and you don't want them going a long time without water. Okay, let's talk heat for a little bit. Now, heat is a very controversial topic. Some people are staunchly against it, and some people are really for it. Now, I typically take a middle road, and I just use this sweeter heater here. It's a, it's a heating panel, so it's warm to the touch, but it's very, very safe. And the chickens can go up against it and warm up. Now, I really, really like when these panels are hanging over where the chickens roost so that when they're sleeping they're getting that warm. We just didn't know that when we built the coop and so that's why our panel is on the wall here. But I do really really like these and they just give up a nice little bit of heat. Now for this intense cold snap I did end up hanging a heat lamp here and this is Premier One's heat lamp. I love this heat lamp. Uh, the, the metal ones from the farm stores just sort of sketch me out. I know heat lamps are a major fire hazard. This one is so much sturdier. It's very well protected. It's very good to hang. It has a long cord. I will be doing more videos on this heat lamp in the future, but I did that just to give them a little bit more heat in this extreme cold. I'll be taking that down here next week now that we're climbing out of these cold Older temperatures. 
If you are not in a super cold environment, meaning you are staying above zero, you're not consistently in those single digits or below zero, I wouldn't worry too much about heating, but I would recommend really making sure you have good ventilation. A major problem in cold weather is that most people lock their chickens in and close all the doors. And if that goes on for a long time, a lot of moisture ends up getting into the air, which ends up causing problems like frostbite. I know that seems counterintuitive to keep some airflow in there, but trust me, you don't want to have this super snug, tight space where all that moisture is just going to cause you problems. I always keep the little chicken door open for my birds, so there's always that little bit. And then we do have two windows, and normally I keep them partially open. I didn't realize our cold snap was supposed to last for two weeks, so I ended up closing them and they got frozen shut which is a bummer. But now that it is actually getting a little bit warmer, I ended up leaving the big door open this morning just to let some fresh air in. Because with the cold and the moisture in there, I was starting to see some frostbite on my chicken's combs. And the last thing I want you guys to consider when caring for chickens in extremely cold weather is their bedding. So I love deep bedding. You know that by now, it is something I preach. And one of the reasons I love it is because it's great for the cold. Having the, that really deep bedding is great insulation. It gives the chicken something to nestle down into. And if you've built it up enough, it will actually start composting and creating some heat itself. So if you are going into a spell with a lot of cold weather coming, put down a nice thick layer of bedding for your chickens. They will thank you for it. So there are my quick tips for caring for chickens in extreme weather. If you have any winter care tips for chickens, I would love to hear them. Go ahead and pop them in the comments. I'm so excited. Next week, it's going to be like 40 degrees. So spring is on the way. And I have a lot of exciting things planned this summer that I cannot wait to share with you. So be sure to follow along. All right. I'll see you guys soon.